It's early morning in New York's meatpacking district, and 22-year-old Sasha Pivavarova is shooting a cover of the prestigious British Vogue. She's been modeling for only two years, but she's already managed to make it to the top of the highly competitive fashion industry. On the cover of Vogue as one of the ten hottest new superstars in fashion, the official face of Prada, about to do what no one has done before, her fifth season with the most coveted fashion campaign. My favorite part of the job is traveling, shooting. I have so many interesting shoots and so many places where I would never go on my own. Sasha is from Moscow and part of a new wave of Russian models making their mark on the international modeling scene. Her agency launches up to 10 new Russian models every year. You can take out the map, put your finger down anywhere in Russia and say, let's go there and you're going to find girls. The right body type combined with that something special in a face is what makes Russian girls a gold mine for photographers and designers. There's not one type of beauty. That's what's really interesting. IMG was one of the first agencies to see Russia's potential. It now scouts there every year, meeting thousands of hopefuls in castings across the country. What do you think about modeling? Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Kristina Tsvetskova was discovered by IMG scouts in the Siberian city of Omsk two years ago. I'm taking a lot of pictures of you because I want to show them to some very important clients. Back then, she was still a 15-year-old schoolgirl, dreaming the dream of becoming a model. Of course, I would like to change my life. I like Omsk, but I think there isn't much opportunity here as a model. So I would like to move and see how it is like abroad. Two years later, she's come a long way from that first tryout, with shows in Paris and Asia already behind her. Tietzkova is now ready to come to New York. But looks alone are not enough for a ticket to stardom, with thousands of hopefuls knocking on the agency doors every year. Only those who stand out in a crowd and show their personality become successful. And that's what makes Sasha Privavarova a star. I have many different angles they can shoot me from. My face is like canvas. Whatever you paint on it, you will get. I'm also artistic. I started when I was 20. I studied at the university. I had education. So now when they say Nina Hagen, I know who she is. When they say they want a Velasquez theme, I know who Velasquez is. And I can do it. The girl's got talent and brains. She studied art in Moscow University. Her paintings were printed in French Vogue. Her artwork is on display in Paris. Right now I have so many memories, so many travels and new friends that they provide a great source of inspiration and I want to express it. I draw a lot. I draw after a shoot, for example, or when I'm getting makeup and hair. I draw on anything I can get my hands on, paper and hotels, contracts, maps, anything. The aspiring artist never thought of becoming a model until she met her husband, an experienced photographer and artist, Igor Vishnikov. When I saw her as a photographer, I realized she would be every photographer's dream because of her features, because of the way she transforms and the way she, uh, her body language and the way she wears the clothes. She flies from Tokyo to New York, Paris and London, doing shows and shooting magazine covers. You'll see her face on the cover of Russian Vogue in August, and then British Vogue in September, showing Christian Dior's collection. At home, she remains the same shy girl from Moscow. Soft-spoken, and loves her family, helps everyone she knows. And like, yeah, I don't know, my best friend and yeah, my wife. Yeah. In business, Sasha Privavarova stands for one of the top three sought-after fashion models. She's one of the many Russians captivating designer's imagination. Colleen McEdwards, CNN, Atlanta. It's good, no?